Digital engagement is a pretty broad term, and you probably have an intuitive idea of what the term means. At the most basic level, digital customer engagement are all the ways a customer interacts with your business via technology and how you interact with them. In this video, we're going to give you a quick overview of digital engagement in the context of an agent helping customers with Salesforce Service Cloud Console. Digital engagement connects your business with your customers on a variety of digital channels, mobile phone, your website, email, and messaging apps. And everything flows into Service Cloud, so your agents can respond with smooth, tailored, and timely help. A channel is any way that a customer interacts with your support team to resolve an issue. Your customers can reach you on a lot of channels. Telephone. Your customer can call your business and be routed directly into Service Cloud. If you have a high volume, you are likely already using Service Cloud Voice or Open CTI. Or if your call volume is low, your agents may be taking phone support calls and manually entering details into Service Cloud. Web Forms. Your customer can submit support requests from your website with a simple, customizable form, and web to case will automatically turn these inquiries into cases. Email. Your customers can request support by email, and email to case will turn these inquiries into cases. Digital. Your customers can send you messages in a variety of ways, from your website or mobile app, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Apple Messages for Business, and agents can respond in the service console. In today's video, we'll focus on digital engagement channels. Service Cloud allows you to handle cases from many different external and native digital channels. Let's walk through the life cycle of customer engagement. First, our customer sends a message. You can choose to accept messages from external services such as Facebook or WhatsApp or their phone's SMS service or Apple. With Facebook and WhatsApp, you can choose between standard and enhanced channels, depending on what features you need. Messages can be sent at any time and will go into a service cloud queue. Your agents can respond during your open business hours. You may also accept messages from native Salesforce messaging that your customers access from your business website, experience cloud site or mobile site. You can choose whether to only make messaging available on your website only during business hours so your agents can respond immediately. Or you can allow messages anytime, in which case you might consider having bots handle straightforward requests and your agents can respond to more complicated queries during business hours. The beauty of Salesforce Digital Engagement is that no matter what messaging channel customers use, their cases are handled by the route you've set up in Service Cloud to assign messages to queues, bots, or agents. We recommend using queue-based routing for simple routine scenarios. If your needs are more complex, use omni-channel flows to define routing rules and dynamically route messages to the most qualified available agent. You may want to consider creating a bot or several bots to do simple tasks like greeting customers, gathering information related to their request, or routing the message based on preferred language. This allows your agents to focus on more complex questions. No matter what message channel or how messages are routed to them, assigned agents can accept and handle cases using the omni-channel widget in the service console. There are lots of tools to make handling digital engagement in the Service Cloud Console more efficient. You can set up internal features such as auto-responses, message templates and reply recommendations to help boost agent productivity. With native messaging and some external services, you also have the option to use interactive messaging components. There are many components available, but some of the most common use cases are to share links, Create questions with predefined options, add time slots, surface post conversation surveys. You may be excited to jump in and start setting up all the channels where you could be helping customers, but make sure you set up thoughtfully. Service Cloud Console is the foundation behind your externally facing channels. Make sure you have fully configured Service Cloud Console so that you can handle your anticipated case volume. Understand the type of inquiries and cases you already receive 
and how agents handle them as well as any gaps. Configure omni-channel, rules and Einstein case routing so that messages go to the right agent with the right skills at the right time. For simpler needs, use queue-based routing. For more complex needs, set up omni-channel flows or skill-based routing. Understand capabilities for each digital engagement channel so that you can get the right provisioning and licenses for the features you need. Understand the technical setup considerations for each digital engagement channel. We'll talk about this in more detail next. The good news is that when you turn on native messaging with Service Cloud, a wide number of features are supported out of the box. You'll also want to consider adding external digital channels, depending on your needs. SMS, standard. Facebook, standard or enhanced. WhatsApp, standard or enhanced. Apple for business, enhanced. Let's review each digital engagement channel one at a time. First, let's start messaging with native in-app and web messaging. When your customers are trying to get support, they usually turn to your website or mobile app first. You've probably familiar with this type of support from a business website. Messaging for in-app and web delivers a few key features. Enhanced pre-chat support can collect information from the customer and access records before connecting them to an agent. You can add custom branding for consistency. You can add push notifications so that multitasking customers are alerted to a response in real time. Since they are built natively on the Salesforce platform, setting them up is straightforward. SMS messaging allows you to reach customers on their mobile phones. There are two types of SMS channels and it's important to understand how you might use each type. The first type is long code. Long code channels are good for personalized two-way interactions with a customer and are ideal for customer support. We generally refer to this as person-to-person -person or P2P messaging. Long codes are standard phone numbers for your country, 10 digit in the United States. The second type is short code. Short code channels are good for high volume, one-way communications, such as automated messages, surveys, or alerts that customers have opted into. We generally refer to this as application to person or A2P communication. Short codes are five or six digit codes that can be branded so that they are recognizable and easily remembered. Be aware that short codes are not available in every country. To set up a long code messaging channel, you'll need to file a support case and either request a new number or authorize Salesforce to enable an existing phone number for your channel. To set up a short code messaging channel, you'll need to file a provisioning request with Salesforce, which takes 12 to 16 weeks. Be sure to consult Salesforce help for more guidance on setting up SMS messaging channels, since messaging involves mobile phone regulations, which differ from country to country. Many of your customers are likely iPhone users and use Apple Messages. With an Apple Messages for Business channel, you can help customers using Apple's Messages app. You can use all the same short codes and long codes as on SMS, but you also use enhanced Apple Messages functionality such as add components such as quizzes and delivery time choices, allow rich content options such as GIFs, file sharing and videos in messages, ability to transfer a case to a live agent. Facebook Messenger is a convenient way to communicate with your customers who are visiting your Facebook business pages. For each page that your business owns, you can choose between standard and enhanced Facebook messaging. Which one you choose depends on your needs. Enhanced messaging allows agents to initiate outbound direct messages to customers who have interacted with your page, rather than just responding to a message in a thread on the page itself. Enhanced messaging supports more file types than standard, including audio, video and binary image files. Standard Facebook messaging has some limitations on whether messaging sessions are created in Service Cloud or not. Both standard and enhanced Facebook messaging have some limitations on the volume of sending and receiving messages in a given time period. WhatsApp is another great way to connect with customers. In addition to responding to customer requests, 
WhatsApp also allows you to send automated, template-based messages to customers. For example, you could create templates to update customers about cases, give an order status, or provide a one-time password. Templates must be in one of three categories – marketing, transactional, or one-time passwords. Enhanced messaging allows agents a lot of flexibility to transfer messaging sessions, collaborate with supervisors, and send customers interactive content such as a clickable list of open time slots. Going forward, new features are available only in enhanced WhatsApp channels, so in most cases, we recommend creating enhanced channels instead of standard channels. One thing to be aware of is that WhatsApp channels in Service Cloud and WhatsApp channels in Marketing Cloud require separate WhatsApp business accounts. We've mentioned bots a few times and they can be an important part of your overall digital engagement strategy and are available on many channels. You can use bots to provide simple information such as business hours, send a knowledge article to address common use cases such as product setup information, Provide additional information to the customer, such as giving them an order status based on the order number. You can set this up by connecting Flow with your bots. Collect customer information to make a seamless transition to a live customer agent. When you design your bots, keep in mind how the information will be displayed in each channel. For example, the full text from a knowledge article might display well in an in-app or web message but the same text might be difficult to read for a customer who has to scroll through a long SMS message on a cell phone. So test your bots on each channel you'll be using. Today we've shown you a high-level overview of your native and external channel options for Salesforce digital engagement and how you might use them as part of your overall service strategy. As you begin to set up messaging, Make sure to reference our extensive help documentation to guide you through each step. Search Salesforce. Help for messaging in Service Cloud, where you'll find guidance that will help you. Learn about digital engagement channels. Set up and customize each messaging channel. Design the agent experience to make sure they are prepared to serve customers. Structure your content to make it easily accessible. Extend messaging with automation understand privacy and ethics. And even after you've rolled out your digital engagement channels, your work is never done. Make sure you continually monitor how it is being used. Good analytics can help you surface and respond to common concerns with knowledge articles or bots, train agents, and generally create a better customer experience. For more detailed information and resources, visit help.salesforce.com or explore the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for joining us.